The cable is reporting that the U.S. government's shutdown is beginning to affect their diplomatic operations across the globe. A visit from a delegation of Chinese generals, which had been scheduled for quite some time, has now been cancelled. The State Department has also postponed a review of America's human rights record, which was scheduled in Geneva. Other meetings have been cancelled as well, including ones of a high-level diplomatic nature as well as trade and military ones. Now, this is reportedly just a week after U.S. President Barack Obama had to cancel his plans of attending the Asian Leaders Weekend Summit in Indonesia, while U.S. trade representatives delayed participating in trade negotiations in Brussels. This meeting between Chinese generals with their American counterparts was supposedly considered important due to both countries' involvement in issues ranging from cybersecurity to the South China Sea. The U.S. Army, however, has said that they had to cancel those meetings because the funding had ran out to host the Chinese delegations. They said that they will be looking to reschedule as soon as the funding resumes after the shutdown. Okay, and now let's take a look at how Chinese internet users reacted to this story. The reason is too far-fetched. If they have no money to host China, how could they still have the money to hold military exercises and build carriers? This is too shameless. Why don't they cancel military exercises with Japan and the Philippines? In fact, we can spend money of our own, and both sides would be happy. But we should thank the U.S. government for helping us save money. This is a little interesting. On one hand, it seems that America is losing face and cannot entertain China. But I think maybe the Chinese government should be ashamed as well because China has used so much public funds to treat these officials and send them abroad. Maybe America just understands our national conditions too well and knows that holding the meeting couldn't solve any real problems. So we don't want to waste the time and money without getting anything back. Americans have always been very pragmatic. They know how to spend money more efficiently, especially when they are short of it. This kind of military delegation may sound great, but it can still not solve the China-U.S. military obstacle. So what's the difference if they cancel the reception? I just think China should learn something from America on this aspect and not spend tens of billions to buy American national debt. Military ties between the U.S. and China are thought to be growing, with Bloomberg quoting the Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi, calling it a bright spot in the relationship. Now, Chinese ships are also reportedly set to join the Rim of the Pacific exercise for the first time when it happens again next year. As the story on Bloomberg puts it, Chinese participation and Wang Yi's comments show a change in attitude between the world's two largest militaries.